Hi everyone. Today I have an amazing workflow. As you can see, this is instant one click outfit changer and this is great for uh, creating images for e-commerce websites and stuff like that. You can see you just need the image of the outfit and uh, the model, right? And it can generate pretty seamlessly. You can see the knot, the patterns. Uh, the main point is that it can actually recreate the pattern very, very well. So, and it's actually using the Flux Fill model. That is the new uh, model from the Flux tools. And I'm using the GGUA version, so it can fit in lower VRAM. I'm using this on my 8 GB VRAM. So you can also try this on 6 GB VRAM as well. And I'm using the Redux. So these two things to get the context of the outfit and convert it into this particular image. And I'll explain what is happening. So here you can see you need to upload the outfit and you need to upload the model. That's it. It is basically resizing and stitching these two images like uh, joining these two images, right? I am making sure that it try to uh, get the images that have a little bit of margin from the side because it actually takes the height and the uh, width from the model's image and then uh, makes this outfit image same and then joins them and there is a reason for that now here you can see i am using florence to get the outfit mask and i am using the human segmentation to get the top clothing and don't worry if it mess, uh, messes up slightly it doesn't even matter the main point is to grow it with blur all of these things are being done here right and then it is being sent to in paint crop and this node goes to in paint model conditioning and here you can see we are actually sending the conditioning uh, from the style the style model of redux this is what is happening i am not using any kind of prompts here and uh, for this i am using euler beta and 25 steps you can play around with it if you want something better so that's the main thing now uh, one thing you can see is that we need these dual images uh, to get the exact pattern so what i'm doing is uh, at last to extract this image out i am actually cropping the image and this is the complete calculation so it is taking the uh, width of whole image and as you can see we made the width equal here right so we need to take the width and uh, divide it by 2 i have added 0.5 pixels because most of the times like there is an addition and you can see a very one pixel line so to remove that i have uh, just added out yeah and with that as you can see the the image would be ready right and now here is a switch so what this switch is basically doing is that one is for auto masking then it would use this is for the person one thing you need to remember if sometimes the florence 2 does not work for this mask it is not even that important because it is going to the optional context mask so if it does not like uh, gets the mask correct for the outfit one it won't matter that much now for the human segmentation here you can see the image actually has like uh, its full upper body covered so in that case the mask also creates in a way that the upper body is completely covered right and we do not need to inpaint anything sometimes you will uh, see there are shorter clothes and for that you may need to mask out yourself so you can obviously do that from here like opening in the mask editor and you just need to change if you want manual masking just need to change it to 2 for the manual mask that's it other than that everything would be same and it won't be an issue now i would just upload one another image here just to show you how good it can actually uh, take the patterns and recreate that so I'll try to find something a little bit complex. Let's take this one because there are multiple lines. We can judge how better it can reproduce the results. And now I'll cue the prompt and let's see. 
As you can see that the image has been generated and I would say it came out pretty pretty well. So the length is approximately correct what we wanted, right? And also if you look at the pattern, right? The handwriting. This is exceeding here slightly. We have that. We have a cross section here that needs to be there, right? This line is intersecting kind of like touching the outer line and we have that here. It is exceeding here and you can also see the handwriting looks exactly the same. It actually recreates to that extent that people normally seeing it cannot say that this is like uh, recreated. So if you want to use it for your e-commerce websites or your fashion brand or something like that, you can actually use it. because. Even the very slightest changes, like that is something uh, which would not be visible, but it can actually use it and you can see even the stripes, the creases and everything look so perfect. You see the creases here and everything, they look so perfect and it has also generated her body slightly. Now always remember you cannot do this much like you cannot make uh, like uh, recreate the body to a very high extent. It can just fill in the gaps but it, the way it works is that it can actually create the patterns and everything pretty good. So if you have your own e-commerce brand or website you can actually use it. And in the similar way you can see another thing that I would show you is that now this may not exactly work for all but if you have outfits like this right which is not on a plain background most of the time it works there can be slight changes and I'll also show that so I'll click the Q prompt. So you can see that it is generated and one thing that you would clearly notice is that the color is slightly off. Although the pattern is pretty similar what it should be but the color is slightly off and the reason I have noticed this is that when you do not have any plain colored background right so it cannot take the context from it directly what happens is that you can see when we are talking about normally selecting the mask so the Florence model cannot select the outfit very properly. Okay, and when that does not happen, somehow I think it mixes up the skin color and this and it tries to compare, uh, I don't know, like the skin color maybe and it, the shade comes out slightly different. And you can see also in terms of her body, like uh, the there is an unevenness when it tries to fill. So if you are using like uh, clothes from another model, Try to avoid it, it can work, it cannot work, so it's a 50-50 chance. But if you are using any kind of outfit on a plain background, normal plain background, it will work like 90% of the times. So this was it and if you have any kind of doubt or any comments, let me know in the comment section below and you will get all the links for the models as well as this workflow in the comment section. Thank you.